to living in El Paso, Texas. My name is John Pena. This is our first annual Pena El Paso sponsored fireworks display show. And I can't think of Hi, welcome to living in El Paso, Texas. My name is John Pena. And in this episode, we're going to talk a little bit about real estate in the summer of 2021. And we are going to debut our first annual fireworks display in El Paso, Texas. Hi, and welcome to Living in El Paso, Texas. My name is John Pena. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. And after that amazing introduction there, uh, it's funny because about a year ago this time, I started this YouTube channel. So we're, we're just coming up on about one year and I wanted to just kind of take a moment, not only to kind of celebrate the successes that we've had uh, and acknowledge and be grateful for all of you that, that have chosen to, to, to support the channel and watch the episodes, but I also wanted to take a moment to reflect on, on, on what our experience has been. And so, like I said, about a year ago, I was standing right here and I made a video about the top five reasons why we chose to move to El Paso. And, you know, one of the things I said in that video is I, I said that I wanted to start a business, right? And that we wanted to settle down roots and for a number of reasons we chose El Paso and so you know we've been here for two years uh, even though the channel's uh, about one year old we lived here for about a year before I started the channel I've done it I, I, I have started a business and thanks to a lot of you quite honestly the the business has become um, I'd say very successful and we have certainly made stumbles and you know uh, fell on our faces a couple of times but I think those are probably somewhat expected kind of the growing pains of, of really starting a business and things kind of taking off so I appreciate those of you who have, have really stuck around with us uh, it, it really does mean a lot to us so I wanted to go ahead and talk about the business just just for a moment uh, it's I don't typically I don't think really try to pitch myself or promote my, my business uh, too much in your face at least I hope not I do try to let people know that yes you know hey I am a real estate agent and if you're looking to buy or sell a home please reach out to me and it's funny, I, I was meeting with a, a couple the other day and they're an older couple, fantastic. And they were like, yeah, the two agents that we, we contacted before you, they just didn't work out and then we decided we would call you. And I, I didn't say this to them, um, but in my head I'm like, well, wait a second, like, why did you reach out to two other agents before you directly reached out to me? So, you know, we're not too busy. We would love to entertain your business. We are actually growing a team. I have a gentleman named Miguel, a showing agent named Oscar, and Leah is, 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 is this close to, to joining us. So we are bringing more people. We are implementing more systems so that we can be more efficient and effective. And I can guarantee you that if you have a real estate transaction, we understand how to, to how to how to run the operation smoothly the transaction from the beginning to the end we will not let you down please consider checking out our google reviews if, if you'd like to hear what other people have said about us and you know we started this journey and we talked about going above and beyond and i think that the majority of our of our clients would would agree that you know that that's exactly what we do so if you're moving to el paso or selling your home please consider reaching out to us and before we start the fireworks show, one, I'm gonna stop the dogs from running around here going crazy. Check, 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 check. Okay, the dogs have successfully been corralled. And so before we start our fireworks show, really with this episode, I just kind of wanted to have fun. You know, it's July 4th and we wanted to just kind of have a celebration. It coincided nicely with our one year anniversary. So 
We're, we're pretty excited. We are about to debut our first annual Pena El Paso sponsored fireworks extravaganza show. It is gonna basically blow your socks off. Um, one of my former clients and now friends, uh, Jason Nutt, was kind enough to record some original music. He was playing guitar, I played bass guitar, so we're, we're gonna have that to really uh, support the, the visual show that, like I said, it is pretty impressive. So please stay tuned for that. That's going to be right right after this. want to reach out just real quickly you know we're in the middle of summer 2021 everybody wants to know a little bit about the real estate market I'm gonna do a summer real estate market update but uh, you know for this I just kind of wanted to tell you especially if you're in the market right now or you're thinking about selling just to give you what I'm seeing and dare I say I, I have my finger on the pulse so I've been I've been telling you all that we're in a pretty strong seller's market. We're in a market where there's low inventory and most homes, if they're decently priced and nice, are receiving multiple offers. That is still the case. But I have been noticing over the last couple of weeks that it's changing a little bit in that offers that I didn't expect to be accepted, you know, maybe two months ago, those offers, some of those offers are being accepted now. And what that means is that, you know, I've been saying homes are going for five, 10, 15,000 over asking. What that means is that folks that are putting in an offer that's maybe only a couple thousand over or on the low end of that five over, where I thought, ah, I think maybe we might be out bid on this one. Every once in a while now, those offers are getting accepted. I have a theory about this and I'd love to share it with you. What I, am, what I think is happening, quite honestly, is I think we're seeing uh, <laughs> sort of a, a citywide home buyer, buyer's fatigue sitting in, uh, fatigue setting in. Uh, I think this is actually happening in a number of markets. Uh, so what that means is that I've talked about buyer's fatigue. Imagine yourself, you're a buyer, you're getting excited, you're finding a home that you love, you're putting an offer in and you get excited, you start to get attached, you're hoping, and then your offer gets denied or declined, you know. Then you do that process again, and then you do it again and again. After about three, four, five of those, most people are kind of like, ugh, this is emotionally draining, right? And it is. And that's that's makes it not very enjoyable, right? And looking for a home, attempting to purchase a, a home in a new city, you know, it should be it should be exciting, right? So sometimes the the excitement wears off after you get denied, you know, five six times, you know. And so what I think is happening, speculation, but I do think that a number of buyers are are getting fed up and they're. They're, 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 they're dropping out of the market, right? So the good news for, for the buyers that are sticking with it is that uh, you, you, you're in a position where yeah, you're better positioned to, to potentially get a, a winning offer on a home. And a note to sellers, it has been absolutely gangbusters for, for you folks, and that's great. However, I think the tide may be turning. Um, I do suspect, again, this is complete speculation, but I do suspect come fall, we will not see, the strength of the seller's market will not nearly be what it, what it has been. So, you know, uh, we'll have to see, uh, like I said, this is complete speculation. I am not a fortune teller. And with that, I will uh, stop the sermon on real estate. I hope that all of you had a fantastic fourth and we're going to go ahead and start our show real quick. Just a quick note about fireworks in Texas. I grew up in Texas outside of Houston in a little town called New Caney back in the day and it was epic. Fireworks were everywhere and we went crazy and it was awesome. I'm sure lots of kids blew fingers off too, but still, uh, if you didn't blow a finger off, it was pretty amazing. That has changed and what I found out. I went to a fireworks display store here in uh, New Mexico and they were kind enough to tell me that in New Mexico it's still legal to set off fireworks but 
we had been in kind of a drought situation and so they, they put a cap on, like you can't do fireworks that are over 10 feet, which is kind of lame. And then we got all this rain though, the last two weeks, and so now that really isn't the case, but the ban was already in place. So it was a bit of a downer. There are some four-wheel four -wheel, off-road areas that I'm going to really start showing you if you're into that. And she said that people are still going to probably go out there, have bonfires, and get crazy. In Texas, in here in the El Paso city limits, you're, you're not really supposed to shoot off fireworks. You might get away with some, you know, some sparklers and those, the pops. You're going to see some of those that you throw down and pop. But uh, for the most part, uh, El Paso was kind of... Uh, a little bit of a no-go for the fireworks. However, we did have uh, three, four, five really epic fireworks displays. Um, one of the, the Wet n' Wild, I think, did one. Fort Bliss did one. Um, down at the casino at Sunland Park, I think they did one. And then I think downtown even. So there were fireworks shows that you could go to. Um, there's actually lots of different places in El Paso. You can park along like Trans Mountain and have an epic view of, of fireworks. So even from our backyard, we got a great show uh, of the fireworks going off. But nothing that is going to compare to what you are about to, to see right now. So without further ado, the first annual Pena El Paso sponsored fireworks extravaganza. Thank you so much for all of your support over this last year. Uh, we hope that we can continue to still bring you as much value uh, and, and really showcase El Paso for the amazing city and the amazing community that it is. Thank you. All right, so hopefully that was pretty informative about kind of the current state of affairs of real estate in the uh, summer. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and start our fireworks display. Please enjoy the show. Thank you. 